Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another nail DIY video. Okay, I'll show you guys all of my stuff that I have here. And this is the set that I'm gonna be trying to recreate today with poly gel. So I'm gonna be using clear tips, clear stiletto tips and some poly gel um, to create that set that I showed you guys. This is what my nails are looking like prior to starting and my last video did really well okay 200,000 views I was like girl I need to give them another video you know so that's what we're doing today give this video a thumbs up down below and let's just get right into it okay I'm showing you guys this flat sculpt nail brush that I got from Sally's Beauty if you can't find the one that I'm using today I don't remember where I got it from it might be from AliExpress if I can find the exact link I will link it down in the description box below these long stiletto clear nail tips um, I purchased these off of Amazon and my McCart nail extension gel in natural pink and bright white. I also purchased this off of Amazon and my nails are already prepped. I like cleaned my cuticles, pushed them back, um, buffed my nail, I cut them down. So they're all like prepped and ready to go because I usually show you guys that but I just decided to cut that out today. And now I'm going in with the long stiletto clear tips. And I'm just sizing those to my nail and gluing them all down. This is also the nail glue that I purchased from Sally's Beauty. I will have that linked down below in the description box. The links in the description box are affiliate links. Most of them are affiliate links. So if you do not want to shop through my affiliate link, you don't have to. But I will have everything linked down there below if you want to. I will make a small commission, you know, just for putting you guys on. But yeah, just gluing down these nail tips. Um, someone actually commented on my nail, my last nail video and they were like, you should just purchase stiletto tips and cut them into like a ballerina coffin shape as opposed to buying the square ones and having to shape them to that because it'll be less work. And honestly, that really like, that idea, so shout out to that person because that idea really helped me out because I actually really, really, really loved using the stiletto tips for this set as opposed to like square and having to shape them. It just cut so much time down. Um, so I'm just going ahead and I'm gluing all of the tips. Um, the corners were like kind of sticking up so I'm just taking the little spatula and just like pressing them down with the nail glue just to make sure that they're completely flat. Um, but this nail glue is super, super, super good. I never get any lifting of the tip or anything like that with my nails. And then I'm just going back in and I'm just pushing my cuticles back just a, a little bit more just to really make sure that, just to make sure that my nails are fully exposed. Then I'm going in with this nail cutter just to cut down the tips, making sure that they're all the same length from my left hand to my right hand, you know. And then I'm going in with my nail file and I'm just lightly shaping the tips, just kind of sharpening the edges. I like really sharp, straight edges for my my ballerina shape, coffin shape nails. I know coffin I think is a little bit wider than ballerina. Ballerina is a little bit um, more on the slim side. So I would classify this shape that I'm doing as ballerina shape but I'm just really making sure that the edges are nice and sharp. Look at those. The tips really, really, really made a difference this time around um, with just the outcome, like the shape of the nail overall. This was the, the shape that I was always going for, my desired outcome, and I finally got it and I was so freaking happy. So that's what the nails look like. And then I'm gonna go on with some dehydrator. This is very crucial. Dehydrator and primer are very crucial for your nails actually lasting a really long time. Um, I remember when I used to do sets without dehydrator and primer and they would not even last a week. And now my sets can last all the way up until a month. Like I've had sets on for at least a month. I'm going in with that primer. This you do have to cure under your UV light for 60 seconds. Cure means to just put it under the light and set it so that it's nice and dry. So you wanna do a very thin layer of the primer. But first I'm just going with my nail file and I'm just buffing the tip so that it's smooth and I'm taking away all of the shine. 
This is also very important for the gel to just stick and not lift because the poly gel, if it doesn't have any like kind of grip to the nail, it can just like pull off in one piece. So you wanna make sure that you're buffing the tip and your natural nail very lightly. You don't have to go too crazy, but I'm just making sure that I do that before I do the primer. So now I'm putting the primer on. I was a little heavy handed with this. You do not have to put as much as I did. Look at my pinky. I put way too much. It was all up on my cuticle. I was tight, but I didn't realize until after I cured it. So do not put as much as I did, please. And then you wanna put this under the UV light for 60 seconds. Next, I'm gonna just go straight in with my poly gel. I'm gonna take a bead of the natural pink from McCart, and I actually am using acetone as my slip today because a lot of you guys were saying alcohol is sold out everywhere because you know this whole coronavirus pandemic, you can't get alcohol. So I made sure that I used acetone because I'm sure you can still find acetone. This one I purchased from Rite Aid, and I'm using that as my slip today for my poly gel bead. So it's very important where you place your pink bead. You do not want to place it too low on the tip. You want to keep this high on your nail, close to the cuticle. And I just applied the ball and then I'm going to start to slowly press it down. And I want to keep it in like a teardrop shape because that's the shape that I'm going for. I'm doing like that French manicure, um, but this is not nail polish it's obviously with the poly gel so i don't know how to explain it but i just need you guys to watch me so i'm just kind of patting and pressing it down um the more slip that you use the more of the liquid that you use with the poly gel the more runny that the poly gel gets so you don't want to use too much i'm kind of dipping my brush into the acetone and then i'm lightly pressing it into the paper towel that I have below my hands to kind of get a little bit of that moisture off of the brush. And then I'm going and I'm pressing and patting down the poly gel. So I have my shape starting to form and I'm kind of keeping it so I'm not going past my um, where my natural nail stops underneath the tip. Like it's not going over the edge of the tip. Does that make sense? I think you guys should just watch. I went ahead and I added a little bit more because my bead was a little bit small. I want my apex to be um, nice and like thick and just strong with this nail because the tip is really long. And the longer your nails are, you just wanna make sure that your apex is built up to just kind of balance that weight on the nail. That's what that looked like. I went ahead and I cured it for 60 seconds and I'm going to do the next nail. So I'm going in with my bead, applying that to the top of my nail like so. And then I'm gonna dip my brush into my acetone that I'm using as slip and I'm just going to press and pat that bead down and I'm going for like a teardrop oval shape for the poly gel, the pink poly gel. This does take practice. I've attempted to do this once before and it was an absolute mess. And I realized, I mean, I did, I tried to do it with acrylic and acrylic is just not my forte, but um, I was also just going about it the wrong way. But the poly gel makes it so much easier. I got a lot of questions on my last poly gel video why I decide to use tips under the poly gel as opposed to dual forms over the poly gel and then peeling those off. Um, I personally feel like the nail is more supported when it has a tip underneath it as opposed to no tip at all in just poly gel. So that's why I like to use tips with it. But if you guys want to see a video of me doing a poly gel set with dual forms only and no tip, then make sure you let me know down below in the comment section. I went ahead and I added another bead to the poly gel. My poly gel was it was thin, it wasn't thick enough, but it was also very runny because I added too much acetone. So adding another dry bead really helped balance out the formula just for that bead. Like it wasn't too runny and it wasn't too dry. That's what those two nails that I just did are looking like. They look great. I'm gonna go ahead and cure them for 60 seconds. Once I'm done shaping, I'm just like making sure that the shape is perfect because that's like 
really half of doing this type of nail is making sure that your pink your pink bead is perfect so that's what it looks like from the side you want to make sure that it's kind of thick because you're gonna be buffing that edge to make it sharper so you don't want it too thin and flat against the nail you want it to be kind of like thick like there's a, a wall there almost along the edge of the bead So I cured for 60 seconds and that's what those four nails are looking like now that they're all done and then I just did like a sped up version of me doing my thumbnail so you guys can just see from start to finish like the entire process. This was very satisfying to watch back especially after I sped it up. I was like whoa. Also, let me know if you guys want to see like more footage of me shaping the nails when I do them. There's a lot that I cut out um, because I don't want the video to be too long. But if you guys want to see more, then just let me know. The next part, this is so crucial. Before you go in with your white, you want to take a nail file and you want to shape your pink. Like I said, you're sharpening up that edge. There's a wall there and you want to make sure that wall is nice and sharp. You don't want to do too much filing because you can actually file into the clear tip. I'd done that before the last time that I attempted this set and I was so upset because I actually filed off the tip on multiple fingers because I just went in way too hard. So you want to make sure that you're not doing too much and you're just filing that edge of the pink and that's what it should look like. This is the view from the side. And then we're gonna go in with our white poly gel. This is really just so like, so fun to watch. You're gonna take your poly gel. This is the same way that I applied it in my last video where I applied it to the tip, the very end of the nail tip. And then I kind of bring it up. You're doing the same thing. It's okay if the white poly gel overlaps on top of the pink. You want to make sure that all edges of the nail are covered all the way up on the sides in the middle you want to make sure that it's leveled and that you're looking at it from all angles because you can have a dip in the white and then it won't look cohesive when you go in to file it so i just went ahead and added a little bit more of the white poly gel because i needed it there because i did have a dip in the nail and like I said, it's okay if it overlaps, it's okay if it looks crazy, if it looks messy, it's going to look messy. Don't you worry, we're going to bring it all together. So I went ahead and I cured my thumb and I moved on to my next finger, which is my index finger. And I'm just doing the same thing. I'm applying the poly gel to the tip, bringing it up all the way on the sides of that pink poly gel. And I'm making sure that everything is leveled. It's the same amount of thickness. And I cured everything for 60 seconds and now I'm going in with my nail file and I'm shaping it. This is when the nails really come to life. So you're gonna go in, you can use an e-file for this part, but I wanted to show you guys that you don't have to have an electric nail file at home with you. You can purchase them on Amazon, they're not that expensive, but you know, some people don't wanna use those or they don't feel comfortable using them. So you can just use a nail file and go in and go to work, honey, okay? I'm gonna buff that nail so it can't be buffed no more. So I did the pinky and I'm just gonna go in and do the rest of my fingers. I did the pinky and the ring. Now I'm about to do the middle finger. I realized watching this back, I was definitely giving y'all the middle finger. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I was just trying to show you the nail. Um, so don't take no offense to that, but I'm just going in and I'm buffing away all of the excess poly gel that's on top of the nail on the sides i'm sharpening up those edges and that oh my gosh this was like so satisfying to do like to see the nail just really like come into its true form and reveal itself to chip away those those ugly layers and reveal the beauty that is inside <laughs> No, but seriously, look at my nails. They look so good. Oh my gosh, I really did that. I went ahead and I just buffed everything, shaped it, washed my hands, and now I'm going with a clear top coat. 
make sure you cap your edges I went back and I capped all my edges um, yeah see I'm doing it right now but just going with your clear coat I did one single layer of clear coat and I cured for 60 seconds under my UV LED lamp and then I'm going in with a little bit of alcohol and a lint free nail wipe and I'm just cleaning off the sticky layer that's on top of the top coat to reveal the ultimate shine that is these nails and then I'm going in with my Nourish Cuticle Oil from the Jealous Gel Kit. I've linked this under every single video because I use this in every single video. This is the best purchase that I've made thus far. This will be linked down below as well. I'm doing that to the cuticles. I forgot to put on some hand lotion, but it's okay because my nails look fire. And period, we're done. Like these came out so good. This is my, hands down my favorite set that I've ever done. If you guys like this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam. There will be new videos three times a week. Shout out to all the new people that subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. I want to do nail videos at least twice a month because I usually leave my sets on for longer than that, but that would mean two new sets a month. So make sure you guys leave me any suggestions or just nail styles that you'd like to see on this channel down below in the comment section. We have a saying on this channel, don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.